one of the bits I really enjoyed was talking about the debates. Because normally you prep for a debate because mm -hmm. it's going to be to, to and fro with arguments. But he was playing just a different game. That's right. Here's what I say in the book, because I think it's really important. If you follow politics and you're interested, watch like a debate or a presentation or a, a rally with the sound off. And so if you watch with the sound off, you didn't pay attention to what he was saying because much of it was untrue and, and, and really just silly. Um, he, you know, he was very dominant, very, you know, very yeah. big, filling the stage, you know, gesturing and facial expressions. If you didn't know what he was saying, you would think, well, you know, boy, he's out there really giving it yeah. to, to her. Um, so you, you really have to understand both what you're trying to say and accomplish and how to match that. Now, the second debate was the one I really highlight in the book. Yes, because the that's, looming one. He loomed over me. Yes, there he I is. Mean, <laughs> and, and it was all designed to get did into you, my did head. Did you know he was there? Yes, of course yeah, I did. Yeah. I mean, I think any woman would know that somebody was <laughs> <laughs> looming over her like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I knew it, and I, um, I, I was debating in my head, and I, I kind of share this with the readers. Look, uh, I practice not getting flustered, not getting thrown off, being calm and composed, which I think a president should be, not impulsive and not uh, trying to dominate uh, all every in encounter. But maybe I should have turned around and said, you're not going to intimidate me like you try to intimidate women. Back off, you creep. You know, maybe I should have said that. Um, It's a, it's, a, it's a real lesson. It's kind of a, you know, it's a thought lesson for women in public life or the private sector. When you find yourself in these positions where a male coworker, a boss, a client uh, is, you know, really pushing you, trying to dominate you, our usual response is to just hold ourselves together and not respond. Because if you're too hot, they accuse you of being angry. If you're kind of apologetic, like, please, don't do that to me, you're accused of being weak, it's really hard to get right in the sweet spot yeah. of being strong and effective uh, without uh, creating uh, additional uh, blowback. She was so angry. She was shrill. You know, those are the words meant to keep women in their place. And I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm going to do everything I can to speak up and speak out about it.